Okay, first graders, um, we are gonna finish our part two of our sunglasses art. You should have your glasses all done, colored, your writing is in here, and then this white piece of paper. I'm not at school, so I'm having to use my kids' um, little chalkboard and painting set. But your first job is you need a glue stick and color crayons. So you can pause the video now and go get glue stick and color crayons, or if you have your toolbox, all of that should be in there and ready to go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue, put glue on the back of my sunglasses. I'm gonna take the cap off. I'm gonna put, you don't need a lot, a lot, but around like the, probably more in the middle because some of the frame won't be on. So you can put some glue in here. And I would glue it in about the middle of the page, just like this, because you want room for your hair, you want room for your shirt. So kind of in the middle of the page like this. You can always add more glue if you need to on the bottom. Make sure it sticks real good. The next thing is, make sure you have a pencil. So once it's glued on, if I'm going too fast, don't remember, you can always pause it. Um, then the next thing you need to do is grab a pencil. It might be hard for you to see, so I'm gonna trace over it with a Sharpie or a black permanent marker. If you have an Expo marker, you could do that, or you don't have to do it. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna use color crayons. I use markers for my sunglasses to make it pop out a little bit, but I'm actually gonna use color crayons for um, the face. I'll show you one example that's all done. So we're gonna now create the face. You don't have to make eyes because they're covered up by our sunglasses. So the first thing you're going to do, kind of like a rainbow, start over here. You're going to draw a, almost like a rainbow, not all the way up to the top because we want room for our hair and for the background. You're going to draw. And remember, that's how you use a pencil. I'll trace over to marker so you can see it. You're going to draw. This is the top of your head. And then after that, you're gonna draw, and I'm connecting here a little bit. Girls, you might need a little more space for your hair down here than boys. I'm gonna make the bottom. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm kind of going fast to show you, so whoop, I have a little. That's all right. That's why we use pencils. If you wanna erase a little bit, you sure can. Then what I'm gonna do, so you can think about what shirt you're wearing now, I'm going to make the neck maybe a couple inches. And then I'm gonna go over one for my shoulders and my shirt and do the same thing to make it symmetrical on this side. So then I have my head, my neck, and my shoulders. Then after that, so remember if I'm going too fast, you can pause the video. Then after that, I want you to make it look like you. So if you need to look in the mirror and see what color your hair is, what color, um, you don't have to worry about your eyes this time, which is nice. But then we're gonna next do, you can kind of look at your nose. We need a nose and we need a mouth. So I'm just gonna make my nose, you can do your nose however you want. That's the cool part. This is art, you can make it however you want. So I'm just gonna make my nose like this. Kind of hard to see. And see, I don't really like that, and that's okay. That's why I use a pencil to make it light. If I didn't like how it worked, I can make it more. I think it was too pointy. I can make it a little bit more like this. That's the cool part. If you have another way to make your nose, go ahead and make it a different way. I'm just keeping it simple. And then I'm gonna make my smile. Um, last year it was cute. Some people made teeth, some people, you can make it however you want, but I'm gonna keep it pretty simple with my smile. You can always use a red crayon to trace over it to make it red. If you don't wanna use permanent marker, you can make rosy cheeks if you wanted. You get to add any of the details. You get to be the artist. Then next we need the hair. So look at your hair. I have like a part in my hair. So I'm gonna do, and my hair's kind of yellowish brown, so I could do a little bit of both yellow and brown. I'm gonna kind of start over here. And then I'm gonna do some over here. That's the only bad part about using my Sharpie marker. I almost might have to go over this with a marker. And since I am a girl and my hair's a little bit longer, I can come down here and make my hair in a curve over. Kind of hard to see my yellow, isn't it? So you can kind of add detail. If you're a boy, maybe your hair's spiky, you can add. That's why we left a little bit of space up top. So that way you could add a little bit more. So Maya is about down to my, a little past my shoulders. So I'm gonna make my hair go all the way down. 
All right, I decided to use to get out my markers and to, so that way you can see the hair a little bit better. So here's like my part, I added a little bit of yellowish blonde color up top. Boys, maybe you have spiky hair and you want to go up. You might not want to use the permanent marker if you don't like that you can see it in there. I'm just doing permanent markers so that you can uh, see it a little bit better. Um, my hair's a little bit longer, goes down to here. I'm also going to add so you can see a little bit better because if you notice my hair has a little bit of brown in it too, I have some highlights and lowlights. I could add a little bit of brown in there and that would cover up that black sharpie. So you make it however, if you have your hair in a pony and you want to put a pony up here, girls, however you like to wear your hair, boys, and this might not take you as long as if you don't have to add as much color and detail. Remember, you can use crayons if you want to go over to markers, you, are, you can do that too. Um, if you have, you'll see that this example, I don't want to make you sit and watch, this example for, that Miss Buchan did last year, she did a peach color in the background. So maybe if you have like a darker brown skin, you can do brown in the background. You could do a peach color in the background. Um, you could do just a fun background like with stripes. Or since it's summer, I thought maybe I would do like a sun up top. And like I said, there's no wrong way of doing it. You get to make it however you would like. Maybe I want to make a sun up here. Uh, maybe I want blue skies. Maybe you want to keep some light and make some clouds. Maybe you want the lake in the background if you think you're going to spend a lot of time at the lake. Uh, maybe I want some green grass back here and some flowers. You get to create your own background. But my thing is I love how uh, Miss Buchan's from last year, she didn't have any color it, like she didn't have any white she uh, she was a beautiful illustrator and she filled it all up she colored her shirt pink maybe i want my shirt to be red um i'm gonna kind of do like a collar here make it like a swoop color it in well, it looks kind of pinkish maybe i want to add um, you could add like flowers on your shirt or maybe some stripes or zigzags. You get to design it however you want. And then when you're all done, so I might, I would color this in peach, uh, my neck in peach because my neck's like the same color as my face. And then when you're all done, your job is to go into CESA and to take a picture of it. And we want to see your final product. We want to see it. And it's kind of a fun um, art project, maybe your mom wants to hang it on your fridge, maybe your grandma or your dad, whoever you're living with, um, thinks it's cool and they want to bring it to work and hang it in their office. It's just a really cool, and then it has this summer. So my one, mine says, this summer I plan to spend a lot of time at my cabin. My family and I will ride on the pontoon and go swimming. And then I said, this summer I also have bonfires and make s'mores. Yum. I will play outside with my girls. So when you're happy with how it looks, I know a little pink got on here from when I was tracing my sunglasses, so it looks kind of silly there. But you get to make it your very own. Okay, we can't wait to see them all. Take a picture when you're done. Awesome job. Thanks so much for joining me.